Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video. As you can see, I'm working in my traveler's notebook and it's all about the books I read. And this is the book that's featured today. It's called The Chilbury Ladies' Choir. And if you like British history, particularly around the World Wars, this might be for you. This has that title because a lot of the men in the village are away at war so they don't have any men available to sing in the choir and at first they're told we're just going to shut it down or we're, we're just not going to have choir at church services during the war and the women decide no we can do this on our own we don't need the men we can be strong and figure out how to sing with just women's voices and there's a lot of social type things happening too that go along in the village while this is happening so there's some backstory going on and things happening elsewhere but I found it very entertaining. It was a fairly light read given the subject matter. Um, it, a lot about village life. So if you like that kind of thing, this might be for you. As you can see over here, I have this little sticker that's up here. And that's actually a set of digital files I bought and then printed on sticker paper. That's where I cut it out. You can see that's what the back looks like. And I'm actually thinking of using another one. I like this one. That has the, just the single book on it because it's pink and there is some pink in the background. I also like these options because there are some scenes where they're sitting around drinking tea and talking to each other. They both would match. I think it really just depends on what background paper I want to use. I was thinking pink, but obviously if I want to use one of these, I can't do that. I'd have to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to go through my paper first and see what I can find that would match. So when I pulled out my papers that I have that are all in my special bag just for stuff related to books, I found this one and went past it originally. I forgot that it had something on the back. Now this I actually like. It's very busy, but I feel like if I take this and mat it with something that maybe I could make it work. So I'm going to try it with maybe just some white to bring this out and we'll see how it looks. So that's what it would look like with a white mat behind it. And I do like that, but I think I'm also going to go into my scraps and try to find something in maybe this color blue here to double mat it. And then it will bring in more of the colors that are in the photo and also create more of a break between a busy photo and a busy background. So I found this piece of cardstock in my scraps and I think that's a pretty good match. So I think I will double mat it, see what I think. I also need to cut this down in order to fit the page. I cut down my background paper and as I was cutting this piece of paper, I decided to do something a little different. I actually left this end a little bit longer because I could put a phrase there. I have some phrase labels pre-printed. I could stamp. I have lots of options. So I think going to do it like that. Now the problem it presents is journaling. So I'm not sure if I should tear off this bottom so you can see the white and I can journal or I could do it opposite to this one so that the pictures aren't across from each other and have it towards the bottom rip and have journaling available at the top. I'm not quite sure. I think what I'll do first is at least mat the photos and adhere them so I have that done then I'll figure out to rip or not. I did decide to rip the paper and I'm going to have it at the bottom so that the journaling is up top. That way it's opposite of this page. I also cut off a little bit more at the bottom here because I really didn't need all that room and then it allows me to get it closer to the bottom here which saves me room up top for that journaling because I do have things I want to say. So I think I'm going to do that and then I'll revisit if I want to use any of those teacups that were on the sticker sheet. I've attached everything here, so now I have to decide which of these to use. And when I was looking at them, I decided I really didn't like the yellow. You can see it up here, but it makes the paper, which is a cream, have an even more yellow cast to it. And I kind of don't like that here. I want it to be a little bit brighter. And I also want it to have a very feminine look because it is about a ladies choir. The book is very much focused on women. And so I thought maybe this would be better to have it down here, bring out the pink that's in the back and in the floral part and be good to go just using that. On the left side, I had used the blush 
color of the Heidi Swap Color Shine, and I think I'm actually going to use it again here because it works with the pink scheme I've got going. And when I write, it's going to be in black, and so that's a little bit harsh. I mean, it matches here, but that's about it. So I think that having the pink splattering would probably soften it a little bit. So I am going to use that, and I'll do that next. So I have this set up just with scratch paper to cover the other side because I've already splattered there. I don't want anything else on it. Now I have this side ready to go. I don't mind if I get a little down here or near the photo. That's okay. I can't see if I got any down there. I think I did a little bit. There we go. That's better. A little bit more. A tiny little drop just got on the photo, but I'm actually okay with that. This is probably enough for this one. Less is more. I don't need to go crazy with it. So that's probably all I will do with the splattering. So now that I have the splattering done, I was trying to decide if I wanted anything up top in between where my journaling will go and here. And in my stash of phrases and embellishment things over here, I found this one. And it says, this was a real page turner. Now, I listened to this. So I wasn't physically turning pages. But I love the idea that it was a quick read and I was into it because I was. I loved this one. So I think I'm actually going to use that right up here near the top. All right, I've added that on. And that was actually another set of files where I had bought them digitally, cut them out, and had them on sticker paper. So all I had to do was peel the backing off, which was awesome. So here it is, the close-up of the right-hand side. So this is another one that was pretty simple, came together very quickly, but I really like it. So here's another one for my read and review series. Thanks for watching.